Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today I wanted to try out something with missions. I wanted to try on my Alpha Clone character to get up to a little bit of higher level missions. Now, many of you may know that you can't do level 4 missions in Alpha Clones. You can do only level 3 max. So that's the point here. I want to try to work my way up to level 3 missions. I want to see just how it feels, how the ISK is, how good it is, how effective it is with Alpha Clone to Starships. Now, this is the ship right here that I used uh, previously for events as an Alpha Clone, um, the Drake right here. And I think this is what we'll be using for the uh, the level 3 missions. But the issue is our character right here doesn't have the standing. So it's, it's time to march up and get the good standing. So we'll be starting out from the ground up and just see how it goes, see how the journey is. And hopefully in the end, it'll be uh, quite cool. But... As far as I know, level 3 missions are not usually that profitable, but I want to try doing some missions that are close to uh, Gita, and I want to try just using more Kaldari based ships. I just had a feeling that I wanted to do a bit of like Kaldari style uh, of missioning right here, because this character's never done any missions before, so I'm going to try getting good standings with Kaldari, because I've never, generally speaking, I've never done missions for Kaldari slash Amar. Well, I have Amar, but never Kaldari. Uh, I've almost always exclusively on the side of Galente slash Mimitar slash Sisters of Eve, so I wanted to do something different and another reason I really wanted to do this is because I live in Jita all my characters are based in Jita so it'll be very convenient to have a mission capable person who's close to Jita so let's do that let's get down to business so we'll go into the agency and look for the closest level one agent this person right here and we'll be having only high sec so we've got some different got some different uh systems right here which we can go to. let's go to the 0 0.9 one because get more profit from 0 0.9 missions we're going to start out in a cormorant a railgun cormorant and we need ammunition oh i forgot ammunition <laughs> let's talk back up okay so we've got our shield extender right here um i'm not sure i don't think this is a particularly good fit i just uh i tried putting together something that could work um, I definitely think that there could be some room to improvement, but I want to just see some example that has an MWD that can move around, that can get some decent range and decent DPS. Uh, we've got some Javelin ammo in right here, but we want to actually have a lot more than that, and plus some Kaldari Navy. Javelin S, we'll get 5,000 of these. Oh, not 400, not a big amount. 5,000, thank you very much. Antimatter S. Kaldari Navy Anti. And to charge it, so it's a big difference. 5,000, and we'll get what is on a spike S, the long range ammunition. 5,000. So we'll get some of these ammos, put them in here. Uh, I don't know if maybe I should use more. Let's get a bit more since it doesn't seem like there's much. Uh, space in our cargo hold but maybe that's the whole point Kaldari Navy Antimatter we'll just put Antimatter I think we're going to mostly use Antimatter the way this fit works is that we're just using rail guns we're using Tech 2 rail guns right here Alpha Clones can use this in fact they can use this MWD to get some decent speed oh we do not want to have this MWD we want to have a 5MN Quad LIF this is a good MWD because it gives us better capacitor 5MN like that and this shield extender i think we can go with a tech 2 i'm just going to stick here if we can go for tech 2 shield extender 2 nah okay azeotropic there's another one no we can only use compact okay so we will be using the compact one and i'll just save the fit right here mission call me remove the passive module just so we don't have a lot of clutter here so we'll probably use this ship here in level 1 missions, maybe level 2. And then when we get to level 3, we will start with the Drake. We might even start with the Drake in level 2. We'll see how this ship fares. <laughs> maybe we'll go pop in level 2, who knows. I can, But I'm pretty sure you can do this in level 1 missions, because level 1 is so basic. I don't think it's been... I think it's been maybe... How long can it be since I've done any L1 missions? must have been like perhaps years ago 2017 was when i did the level one missions at one point i remember so that was a quite a bit of time ago what is our dps 238 with a decent range as well 
really great because that's what you want in missions you want mobility range and dps and tank is not usually as important usually tank is usually an afterthought let me turn up this camera shake is a bit annoying dock up Docking permission requested. Docking request i think the cormoran looks like a pretty cool ship as well that's why i chose it Let's see, what do we have to do here? I have just the thing you want. Garista's pirate vessels have been terrorizing passerby in a nearby system. Find and destroy their leader. We're uploading the last known location of the enemy ships to your Neocom. We need you to put these pirates out of business ASAP. Okay, so basically just destroy enemies. Let's go there and undock. Can't wait until they revamp the missions. I think that's something that's going to be upcoming soon because I know that CCP has mentioned somewhere that they're going to be revamping the... Uh, the uh, career agents and if they're revamping the career agents I can imagine they're revamping the normal missions as well shortly after let's go to this mission and I can imagine what's going to be here there's a bunch of little frigates and that little petty rewards like they really need to increase these rewards no one wants to do this that everyone's going to choose basic abyss over this i know this is safer but i still think that than basic abyss but i still think this should pay a bit more should pay a bit more and if they want it to be risky they can make maybe certain missions that have warp scramblers in them or something and pay more like they, they can maybe put a big warning warning if you go into this uh, mission and get caught there's a risk you'll not be able to get out of there or something like that you get more rewards this is what i thought so we've got a bunch of little frigates we're gonna ungroup our weapons to put two groups it'll be nice to have two groups oh we can't in a group it because then the stupid game decides to <laughs> not allow us to group but i think this is all right I like we've got it right now Oh, they're too far away. So we'll use our MWT to get in range. Into like this group. There we go. Three groups, I think, is good. Speed is pretty good. Speedy, speedy cormorant. Pop, pop, pop. Nice, nice, nice. Mission done. And that was a quick mission. Cormorant pretty effective. I remember back in the day, I would have used... A Kestrel with light missiles to do these kind of missions. Now that I'm a bit more experienced in EVE Online, this is so much better than using some kind of gun based ship because you just instantly tap them and then they die straight away. Um, the missiles take obviously a bit of time to land because of their flight time. Right here is just landing and popping them instantly. Now having some good range also helps a lot. Can maybe make a bookmark for this uh, station right here. So we'll check our standings. Our standings. So it could be good to get all these standings and then get the faction standings even to really high level so we can be like a really good Kaldari based character for the missioning. So interactions and the Kaldari state. Where is Kaldari state? Um, we've only got Galente. We've not got many Kaldari things in here because we've probably not interacted with them. But we can see we increase our standing to her slightly, ever so slightly. Kaldari Business Tribunal. We've increased the standing here a bit as well. Okay, Rogue Drone Harassment. Destroy the Rogue Drones and they report back to the agent. Don't forget to use the acceleration gates leading further into the dead space pocket. Okay. Now one mission dock. We can save this location as like just an insta dock. So that we don't have to travel all the time and we warp to the station. Submit. Warp. It's interesting seeing the other missions because I really I never touch these missions that we're seeing right now. I'm always doing the L4 missions, so seeing the lower tier variants or lower tier types of missions, they're looking quite different. Like I never saw that kind of mission that we just had right now. We had to snipe those little frigates. Oh please, I hate it when it does like this. It just bumps into the station. No, to stop and use the MW to get around. Hmm, look at that corner. Looks really cool. Nice all the missions so far have been in the system. It's annoying to have to go to many systems to find your mission. How much loyalty points do we gain? 87 loyalty points. I'm used to seeing like in loyalty points in the thousands. 87. It's also because we're in uh, Marasia 0.9 system. If we were 0 0.5 it would be more. Oh, please can I warp? 
bump into acceleration gates is a very frustrating experience. Infestors. The rogue drones. The rogue drones. Lock up all these scrubs. Let's go a little bit further away. I remember the grind to get standings was pretty hard in the beginning. So I sympathize a lot with their, uh, all the people wanting to get good standing. It just takes forever. Pop these little drones right here. Got a bunch of little drones and even respawning drones. Got towards that fleet over there. We've got some NPCs over there. Lock them up. And then pop these guys. Yeah, take him out. Good, good, good. Can you even reload here? Some more Alvies. There seems to be some kind of debris over there. Destroy all the enemies in the vicinity. Because we've got all these rogue drones causing harassment over here. I feel like almost these L1 variants look a little bit more interesting than the lower, higher levels of missions. And I think I know why. Because we're using smaller ships here, so we're generally speaking going to be a bit more zoomed into our ship and we can appreciate the environment a bit more. It's hard to appreciate an environment when you're like zoomed out like this, I think. It well, depends. Sometimes some scenes can be really big, but I think when you're zoomed in a bit like this, it's easier to appreciate the environment. Something that I think in EVE Online, I'm not really able to do. I'm able to appreciate ships a lot in this game. Not so much the environment. The Abyss is an exception, though. Look how good this railgun is. They just, just sit here and snipe away. Really great. Popped. And dock. That's it. No, actually, I will do instant dock. Dock right there. It's a little core me over here. We're really great at these L4 missions. <laughs> Not L4, it's L1 missions. Got a bunch of ammunition in right here that's worth quite a bit of this, actually. All really in this Kaldari Navy, not so much this Spike and Javelin S. Generally speaking, the Tech 2 ammunition is a bit cheaper than. Quite a bit cheaper than Faction Ammo. Why are we not in close? I thought I doctored the. That. Um, L1 mission dock. Bookmark. Mm -hmm. Strange, strange. Maybe I. Saved this to station. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. I saved it to the station, not the. Insta dock location. Oh, killed the Galente Lieutenant. The corporations of the state have many friends, as you know. Many friends in many interesting and useful places. Why is this relevant, you ask? Well, it's not at all. It's merely an idle thought I had today that I wanted to impart upon you. Let's see now if we can get to the meat of this. So we should maybe enjoy some scenery, and pay a visit to someone, and when this person wakes up, all their problems should be solved by destroying this lieutenant. Okay. Let's get that done. L1, mission dark. We're going to have to make this blueprint right here. I mean, not blueprint, our bookmark. Bookmark. Go back a bit. There we go. Bookmark made. Why is this making the station bookmark? Okay. And then we can just rename this to L1 Mission Dock, maybe? Hmm. Okay, so we've got the bookmark there, at least. See, there's a Thrash over there. I can imagine he's doing some missions as well. A little Thrashy. There's a cool skin he's got, a bee skin. Hexagons. What kind of skins can we get on the... Cormorant Air Laboratories, Thrasher, Kaldari Navy. Oh, this is a cool one. I like this. This is a cool skin, I think. Gerst is also pretty cool. Very cheap, but 30 days, though. Annoying. Galnet. Okay, enough admiring, admiring of the skins. Let's get to the mission. Take out this lieutenant. Lieutenant, actually, I keep mixing it up because 
British English is Lieutenant, but since you're always watching American movies, American films everywhere, everyone in America is pronounced Lieutenant. So I mix it up a lot. I should be saying Lieutenant. Remove large collidable object. We don't need 50,000 objects, right? Ooh, that's a pretty cool looking station. You need to destroy all the enemies in the vicinity, okay. Which enemies? I don't see any enemies. Oh, where are they? I wonder what we need to do here. Maybe if we take out this control tower? And try it and see if that does anything. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's see if there's anything. Galente Starbase control tower, maybe. Take out this, perhaps? Oh, there he is. He has undocked. Take him out. Popped. Yeah, there we go. Quick mission. Oh, wait. He dropped something. Maybe he dropped something good. Let's see what he dropped over here. I didn't say you had to destroy the tower. They should have added that. It was just a by chance that I thought, okay, maybe we attacked the structure. L1 mission dock. Oh, please don't bump. Please don't bump. Okay, let's dock up right here. This Cormorant feels amazing for the L1 missions. Like a really, really a twitchy kind of snipey style of ship. Good range, cheap or relatively cheap, and decent DPS and good mobility with the MWD. And it seems like the tank is non-existent in terms of its requirements <laughs> so so pretty happy i want to see maybe we can grind up to l2 missions always oh, seem able to soon able to do l2 it seems soon able to do l2s maybe we're already able to yeah we've got some decent standing right there so we've got the 0 0.8 we get 1.0 and then 3.0 then we're able to do l3s and we'll probably get a lot more standing with the l2s so i think i'll take a break right here let's just complete the mission so Cormorant in the L1 missions. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.